Are you a fan of a certain Lady Penelope? Well, I've played her. <laughs> you have, haven't you? Yes, I've got the wig somewhere. Gosh, that's uh, I, I wasn't thinking of that, but you're right. No, I well, know. You playing Lady Penelope is just one of the reasons she w- has remained so popular. <laughs> right. But back in the 60s, as her popularity grew, she began to receive more and more attention, not just in the Thunderbirds television series, but she also started posing for publicity shots all over the place. Did she? And oh. sometimes those pictures saw her visiting the sets of scenes she'd never even appeared in. Ah. So sort of slightly giving away the uh, not the fictional, I almost said non-fictional nature of Thunderbirds mm. there. Yeah. <laughs> for instance... There is a photo on her on the set of the interior of the wrecked monotrain carriage from the episode Brink of Disaster. Right. Notable because although she was in that episode, she never set foot on the train. Oh, cheeky. It was simply a case of, oh, here's an interesting set. Uh, Take a picture of Penny on it and we can use it for publicity and merchandising somewhere. You know, how about that? Mm. I'm just going to let the dog out. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, he's uh, having a little right. you, you you fill in. We can, but, we can leave this but, in. The, hey, uh, I'll be back what, in. Hang on. Two, hang on. Yeah. Well, pass me the book then. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Uh, as Lady Penelope's popularity grew, she began to receive more and more attention, uh, visiting sets. Um, for instance, yes, a photo of her so set in the interior of the wrecked <laughs> monotrain carriage. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'll pass you back the book. There you go. I'm just um, <clears throat> just getting up to... Oh, but where we were, okay. There so, you go, you, you take over, there you are. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So, uh, yeah. they basically just created some interesting shots for publicity. Uh, yes. There was, however, one particular Thunderbirds episode which Lady Penelope did not appear in, but that she visited the set for to pose for publicity photos. Yes. But she did not escape that set unscathed. Oh no, what what happened? <laughs> uh, for some reason, probably because the episode was one of the most ambitious so far in the run, it was decided that they should take photos of Penny on the swamp set from the episode Attack of the Alligators with two of the dwarf crocodiles who play the alligators. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Well, <laughs> you've predicted something there, because needless Uh-oh. to say, it did not go too well. <laughs> Possibly the crocodiles were a little put out by this interloper coming to steal their thunder. Uh, they were mm. the guest stars, after all, Richard, and you know mm-hmm. what that's like, being a guest star and uh, others coming oh, to steal gorgeous. thunder. Uh, oh, yes. Or maybe they were just having a bad day, maybe they were hungry, but what, whatever. They decided to take out their frustrations on uh, poor Lady P. In the resulting carnage... <laughs> One of the crocs bit off her leg. No, no! So, oh, so while, while Penny was hastily extracted from this aborted photo shoot, negotiations had to begin with said crocodile to retrieve the severed limb. Oh, dear. Uh, Christine Glanville, uh, lovely <gasps> puppeteer and marvellous lady, uh, later remarked that the crocodile's mouth must have been rather sore. He refused to give up his prize. <laughs> Did they get it back? Well, I guess eventually, yes, yeah. but I guess oh. her leg was not in the greatest state after all that. Crikey. I mean, that's quite horrific, really, isn't it? I, I well, mean, do, do any pictures survive of this horrible incident? I think there's a picture of the immediate before. <laughs> right. But not the, the immediate after. No, not the immediate. No. Well, I guess they, they mm. said, oh, Doug, it was, must have been Doug Luke doing the photos, <laughs> I guess. Doug, stop taking photographs. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he's got a leg. Oh, it's come off. Oh, no. Is, is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so quite the disaster there. Gosh, um, yeah. I'm sure I've heard of uh, of puppets being, you know, set on fire and damaged by explosive bits and pieces and that sort of thing. But I think Penny takes the biscuit when it comes to, uh, you know, limb removal. You would think that would be one of the hazards of the job, wouldn't you, really? I'm sure there were... You know, tears of uniforms and uh, oh, yeah. their heads popping off and eyes falling out. I mean, M- you, much like you... any any studio set in the country, really, yeah, at exactly. any given moment. I was going to say, did you suffer from head falling off or eyes popping out at any point? <laughs> I know you suffered from exploding bottom, didn't you? Indeed I did, yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything else. We used to have the odd sort of uh, touch-up of paint and so on if we'd mm. scuffed a hand or our mask against a bit of the set. I don't remember things falling off or falling out, though, thankfully. No. That these animatronic heads were built pretty well, weren't they? Built they to really last. Were. Yes, exactly. So. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Well, mm. gosh, that's um, quite yeah. the fact for today, I think. Uh, Isn't and, it just? Uh, that distressing vision of a legless penny brings us to the end of this week's... Leg Fact! Leg fact.